hello students i am usi your teacher for analytical mechanics today i will solve problem 6.14 before solving this problem i would like to announce the problem set 1 as i discussed in my previous uh, previous video lecture here you can see the problem set 1 the total number of students are divided into six groups each group consists of three students and you can see uh, in each group one of the students is underlined the name of one of the student is underlined it means the student whose name is underlined he will give presentation on the assigned problem each group is assigned one problem for example group 1 is given problem 6.6 group 2 is given problem 6.9 group 3 is given problem 6.11 group 4 is given problem 6.13 group 5 is given problem 6.15 and group 6 is given problem 6.12 the deadline of this assignment is september 29 2020 and uh, you have to submit your video presentation until 12 pm so each group mem in each group there are three students so the students are allowed to discuss with each other each other after having having discussion one of the student will come the student whose name is underlined for this problem set he or she will come and will give online presentation i mean video presentation you have to prepare one video presentation on powerpoint and you have to submit it before the deadline thank you now we will solve problem 6.14 the statement of the problem a particle of unit mass is projected with a velocity v not at right angles to the radius vector at a distance a from the origin of a center of attractive force which is given below fr equals minus k into 4 divided by r cube plus a square divided by r 5 uh, here it is given like v not square it is equal to 9k divided by 2a square we have to find like the a part is find the polar equation of the resulting orbit part b how long does it take the particle to travel through an angle 3 pi divided by 2 where is the particle at that time what is the velocity of the particle at that time so velocity v not at right angles to the radius vector at a distance a from origin of a center of attractive force like uh, here v not square it is given it is equal to <coughs> 9k divided by 2a square and attractive force it is also given and uh, you can see this figure here this is the velocity component here it is v not and the the radius the r it is here it is making an angle with the horizontal axis and this a is the distance if this theta is equal to 0 this angle theta like this if it is equal to 0 then r should be equal to a if theta uh, i should write in a proper way this is theta if it this is 0 then r should be equal to a this is what we have to find we need a polar equation and in which in that equation we will put the value of theta and we will we, we can calculate the value of r so in order to calculate the potential energy actually <clears throat> in this equation we have to verify the conservation of energy so for that case the total energy should be equal to zero like total energy e which is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy it should be zero for the conservation conservation of energy so conservation of total energy like e equals t not plus p not we know the 
kinetic energy it is 1 divided by 2 v naught square and the potential energy for the potential energy we integrated equation 1 it is simple I just integrated and I wrote it here uh, the potential energy it is minus k into 2 divided by r square plus a square divided by 4 r power 4 this is equation 2 again to calculate the potential energy we have to calc we have to take the uh, integration of equation 1 uh, so here you can see uh, the total energy is 0 we just placed the value of v naught square like you know the it is given like v naught square it is equal to 9k divided by 2a square so 9k divided by 2a square so we just placed the value of v naught square in equation 1 and after simplification uh, sorry in equation 2 so after simplification here we have like e is equal to 0 so the total energy is conserved conservation of angular momentum uh, in your book you can refer to the equation 6.5.8 so this equation in this equation theta dot it is equal to l mu l u square here and uh, you know that this u square it is equal to 1 divided by r square 1 divided by r square so after putting value of u square you can calculate the value of l square so l square is equal to r4 theta dash theta dot square actually this is square theta dot square now we have equation 3 and uh, we know that this l is equal to a v naught if you take the square then l square is equal to a square v naught square and we know that uh, after placing the value of v naught square uh, we will get l square equals to 9k divided by 2 so now uh, in in uh, further calculation we will use l square which is equal to 9k divided by 2 <coughs> so this is again the same equation like this l square is 9 is equal to 9k divided by 2 and i named this equation as equation 4 it is constant here the angular momentum it is constant and uh, it is equal to r4 uh, theta dash square as we calculated here in, in equation 3 so here if we calculate kinetic energy to calculate the total energy first we need the kinetic energy previously we mentioned that kinetic energy is equal to 1 uh, divided by 2 to v naught square and this v naught square it is equal to r dash uh, r dot square plus r square theta dot square uh, <coughs> so we will put this value of v naught square in uh, in this equation like in, in the equation of kinetic energy and after simplification we will have uh, this equation which is t naught equals 1 divided by 2 into uh, you know that this is uh, here we have one term like dr divided by d theta whole square into theta dash square so this is actually equal to r dash square both are same you can see if you take the derivative of r with respect to theta and then uh, if you take the whole square then you will get uh, r r dash r dash r dot square so both are same so after simplification we uh, take this theta dash uh, theta dot square as common and again uh, we know that l square <coughs> is equal to r4 theta dot square as we calculated in previous slide so why we need this actually we have to find the value of theta dot theta dot square and we will place this value in, in this equation 
so after placing the value of theta dot scale now we have here like this is the value of theta dot scale now kinetic energy t naught it is equal to 1 divided by 2 into dr over d theta whole square plus r square into l square divided by r 4 so now we will put this uh, value of t naught i mean value of kinetic energy in equation 2 in first slide you can see this equation so in this equation like total energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy like this is t naught and plus potential energy uh, so we just place the value of 1 divided by v naught square in equation uh, 2 and now we have equation 5 in this equation you can see this is the value of this is the value of t naught so from equation 4 we know that l square it is equal to 9k divided by 2 uh, l square is also equal to a square b square we can also write l square equals r square v naught square if if the angle theta is 0 then we can say that this a is equal to this r if angle is not a 0 then a, then a is not equal directly equal to theta and directly equal to r so anyhow we uh, we will divide uh, this above equation the both hand side of this equation with r4 and we will have l divided by r4 which is equal to 9k divided by 2r4 and uh, in equation 5 in equation 5 you know this this term we have to place the value of this term so okay, we need to replace this in this term with 9k divided by 2r4 that's why we did this above, above calculation so now after putting that value we have this equation e equals 1 divided by 2 into dr over d theta whole square plus r square into 9k divided by 2r power 4 this is 4 minus k into 2 divided by r square plus a square divided by 4r power 4 and uh, here you know that this is the total energy which is 0 because of the conservation of total energy so we did here we, we just have to do uh, simplification we we took this two uh, we multiplied this two with with, with these two and, and now we have 9k divided by 4 r power 4 because of these two and after simplification you just do you need you need to do this simplification on your copy otherwise uh, I think you will not understand this if you don't do practice so in this simplification we took uh, one one term on the left hand side and one term I mean one term of this equation on the left hand side and one term of this equation on the right hand side and here you can see dr divided by d theta whole square plus r square this term it is on left hand side and the other term it is on the right hand side and we uh, we need to calculate the value of dr divided by d theta whole square that's why we are doing this and again we simplified and here after simplification we can cancel this k with the with this k then we took the r square from left hand side to the right hand side with a negative sign and again we did simplification here like this 4 r power 4 is cancelled with the denominator and uh, similarly this r square is cancelled with with r square on the denominator and we have r square so after simplification we have 8 r square divided by 9 minus r square plus a square over 9 and uh, with further simplification we have equation 5 and now we have 
the value of dr over d theta whole square which is equal to 1 dividing by 9 in, into a square minus r square so here here this a this a is not equal to r okay so this a is not equal to r if it is equal to r then it should be 0 equation 5 the left hand side of equation 5 should be equal to 0 so now <clears throat> from the figure you can uh, you can write this r equals a cos 5 and then uh, if we take the derivative of equation 4a we will get uh, dr over d theta equals minus a sin phi d phi over d theta you know the derivative of cos is always minus sign and because you are taking derivative with respect to theta that's why we are getting this term putting these values in equation 5 these values mean the value of dr divided by d theta we have to put this in equation 5 so here this is the value of dr over uh, dr divided by d theta and the right hand side in the right hand side we place the value this this is equal to r square and you see in equation 5 here here is the r square so we just placed r square with a square plus a square cos square phi and this is further simplification <clears throat> we take we took this term outside the bracket and for the simplification we can cancel with uh, this a square with the a square on the right hand side and similarly the sine square phi on the right hand side to the sine square phi on the left hand side it is cancelled and uh, we have d phi divided by d theta whole square which is equal to 1 divided by 9 if we remove this square for that we have to take square root on both sides then we have d phi divided by d theta which is equal to 1 divided by 3 so that means phi is equal to 1 divided by 3 uh, theta if we take derivative if we take again derivative of this term with respect to theta we will get this one so uh, now we will put the value of phi we have the value of phi and we will put this value of phi in, phi in equation 4a so after putting that value we have uh, this uh, this equation which is equation 6 uh, r equals a cos 1 divided by 3 theta so this is the you can see this is the polar equation and in this equation if theta is equal to 0 that means cos 0 is 1 this cos 0 is 1 and then r is equal to a only if theta is 0 <coughs> Now we will move to part B. In part B angle is given which is 3 pi divided by 2 and we will put this angle in equation 6 that you can uh, yeah this is equation 6. So uh, by putting that value this 3 will be cancelled with this 3 and we have uh, finally we have cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 mean cos 90 and cos 90 is always 0 that's why r theta when angle is pi by 2 r 3 pi by 2 then this r is equal to 0 to find how long how long it takes for that you have to refer to the angular momentum which is l l equals r square theta dot we need here the value of theta dot so we will calculate we calculate it here theta dot equals l divided by r square and we know that this r square is equal to a square cos square theta by 3 okay so now we will integrate this equation after integration like here you can see this is equation 7 to integrate the left hand side we, we can use this simple concept it is basic mathematics you know that cos 2 theta it is equal to cos square theta minus sine square theta and uh, to calculate the cos square theta 
see you have to open this sin square theta it which is equal to 1 minus cos square theta and finally you will have cos square theta which is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 so this concept is used to calculate the to integrate uh, to solve the integration on the left hand side so i just solved and wrote it here so 1 by 2 mean theta by 2 after integration plus uh, 3 by 2 sine 2 by 3 uh, theta divided by 2 so this 2 this 2 will be multiplied by which 2 so in the next slide you can see here uh, the left hand side is theta divided by 2 plus 3 sine 2 by 3 theta divided by 4 which is equal to L divided by A square T again we will put the value of theta which is 3 pi divided by 2 in uh, above equation so the first term becomes 3 pi divided by 4 and the second term becomes 3 by 4 into sine 2 by 3 into 3 pi by 2 so uh, this whole term is 0 because if you cancel this 2 with this 2 and this 3 with this 3 you have only pi which is remaining here this pi is remaining and you know that sin pi sin pi is 0 that's why this whole term is 0 so finally we have a square divided by l into 3 pi divided by 4 equals t so this is actually this is equation 8 not equation 7 this is equation 8 <coughs> So as in equation 4, L square is equal to 9K divided by 2. If we take square root on both sides, then L is equal to square root of 9K divided by 2. So we will put this value in equation 8, not in equation 7. So in that case, we can find the value of T. Because you can see this is 1 over L. And here we, we place the value of L. And first part C as the particle falls into the center of the force so in the part B they said where it falls it falls at in the center of the force so when the particle falls in the center of the force so in that case it is infinity so uh, this problem is solved so uh, you know that uh, in, in the current situation it is very difficult to have the face to face uh, classes and uh, I can understand your difficulty uh, for that reason we designed the problem sets we want your interaction we want the interaction of students with each other so uh, we designed in, in that sense we designed the problem set so now please uh, solve the problems each group is given the problem so discuss with each other and try to solve the problems and uh, for your to improve your presentation skills please prepare a presentation on the powerpoint and record the video so when your video is recorded so please upload it on upload it on the portal before the deadline thank you